My name is Kevin Dark. Uh, this is my uh, self-playing xylophone. Uh, I was inspired by uh, self-playing pianos, but then I looked into how those work and realized that was never going to happen with Legos. So this is kind of the uh, the closest I could get to it. Uh, it has uh, 13 notes. Basically, these uh, the um, tracks just come around. Each one of these just hits a specific note, and then it's just a matter of uh, putting them in the right pattern for the song. So as you came up with this idea for the build, where did you first start with? Uh, my, my first idea for this was actually phenomenally more complicated. It was like three times the size, because I, I didn't have the idea of, of making these arms go out. I was going to have them go straight in, so this needed to be as wide as the entire thing, which was a yeah. stupid idea. <laughs> and that was my big problem, is figuring out how to, like, how to get something that big to move. But then when I figured out I could just do it like this, everything just kind of came together after that. The, the biggest problem was just getting the, uh, the acoustics right, because when the, uh, the hammer falls on it, if it just rests on it, you don't get that, uh, that reverberation. So I needed to come up with a system where it hit the note and then lift it off immediately, which is why you have these little rubber pieces in here that, uh, that kind of give it some, some flexibility so it hits and then lifts back off in its normal state. And then these uh, blue street cleaner parts are so that when this part hits, it doesn't make a sound. Because before I had that, every note would be a ding accompanied with a little clunk. So. Yeah. And you've got multiple songs you can play, right? Yeah, I have uh, the Imperial March, uh, Fur Elise, a catchy song from uh, Lego Movie 2, and then a Hedwig's theme. I, I, I can make as many as I want, I just kind of ran out of pieces. You can just kind of pull pull one uh, kind of tracks out and put in the other one. Oh yeah, these uh, this whole back section here just pops off with two little pegs here, and then the chain just comes right off. You put another one on, you can change us on in 30 seconds. How has this been running during the show so far? Does it run pretty smoothly? It's been running six hours now, nonstop. Wow. So yeah, it's it's doing better than I thought it would actually. Do you have any other plans for maybe trying other instruments or that sort of thing with Lego? Um, honestly, yeah, that is something I'm thinking about is trying to, uh, trying to kind of expand on it, get like a whole one-man band going, but, you know, the, the more moving parts you get, the more complicated it gets, and the more of a nightmare it becomes, so we'll see what happens.